Hello everyone, uh, today is March 26, Thursday 2020. Since we don't have class tomorrow, so I will provide a little bit information on what we're going to cover uh, on March 27, Friday. Okay, if student log in to Blackboard, I post week 9 assignment. Okay, so Please double click week 9, March 27 folder in the blackboard so student can complete the assignment. We are going to cover module 7, programming language, and module 8, desktop and server operating system vulnerabilities. Okay. Uh, since we only gonna cover, since we only going to touch base a little bit of module 7, uh, I just want to give you a brief explanation on module 8 labs. Okay? Uh, most of you guys, I think all of you guys, have taken programming languages either in this semester or on the previous semester. So module 7 is just a basically review about different type of programming languages. Okay. All right. Uh, so if tomorrow we cover module 7, that means we completed uh, module 4, 5, 6, and 7. According to the syllabus, we're supposed to have an exam the following week, which is April the 5th. Uh, no, actually April the 3rd. Okay? So, however, I'm going to postpone it until April the 10th. So, students will have more time to review and study the materials. Okay? And also, in the, uh, in the middle of the week, next week, I'm going to post some... I'm going to post uh, a little bit of hands-on lab using Kali Linux and Windows 7. Therefore, students can try the labs in your home uh, VM machine. Okay? Hopefully, you guys have, hopefully, you all set up a Kali Linux as an, as an undertaker VM and Windows 7 as a victim machines. Okay. So you can do the lab that I will post it in the middle of the week next week. All right, so let's go over module eight. Uh, module eight is basically about desktop and server operating system vulnerabilities. This is the lab that you all will do uh, tomorrow, okay? Uh, so, what is MBSA? MBSA is Microsoft Base Analyzer. Okay. Uh, basically, it's a tool that created by Microsoft to determine the security state by assessing missing or weaknesses of security update, less secure security setting within Microsoft products. For example, Windows. Internet Explorer, IIS, SQL Server, and Microsoft Office. MBSA is no longer supported. However, this is a good practice for us to learn. Okay. Uh, although Microsoft do not support the tools anymore, it's always good for us to to practice and learn. Okay. There are some alternative of the MBSA which is in the next slide, okay? The first one is SolarWind. Uh, I think uh, our school use this network uh, analysis, okay? SolarWinds, this is quite popular. The second one is Open Vulnerability Assessment System or OpenVest. And last week, we did Nessus. So I know some of you guys did not share up last week. Make sure that you did the lab from last week okay uh, if you do not do if student did not do the lab from previous weeks then you will miss then you will be missing some important information okay all right so what is mbsa 
Well, MBSA basically like uh, analysis tools. Okay, uh, what you, what student will do with this lab is to run a scanning, right? Run a scan. Okay, uh, you can scan computer individually or a range of IP address. Okay? The case of the lab that on module A, you will do a lab simulation using a range of IP address. After you run, after student mm, do a scanning, perhaps takes about like 10 to 15 minutes. So be patient about that. Okay. Uh, after the MBAC run the scanning, it will give you a report. Okay. It will give you a report and a recommendation how to fix the problem. Okay. So that's the second one. So first, run the scanning. And second, the tools will give you a report, will produce a report. Analyze the report, what are the weaknesses and how to fix that. What the recommendation that they will tell you how to fix it as well. Okay. After that, student will fix the problem. I think in this case of module 8, you will... Uh, fix the password never expire okay so the mbac tools finds that the administrators forgot to disable password never expire okay so student need to fix that after finishing uh, after fixing the problem you will rescan again to make sure that the report will show a green color instead of a red color. Okay, the green color means it has been fixed. So that is basically a little bit overview about the MBSA tools. Okay. Uh, as I mentioned to you earlier, make sure you study for exam number two, module four, five, six, and seven. It will be on April the 10th. Okay, so April the 10th is Friday. As always, continue learning on a regular basis since we only meet once a week for the class. So if you only review the material once a week, you may not learn as effectively when you review the material twice a week. Alright then, stay safe and take care. Email me if you have any questions. Thank you.